Hello there. So here we are. This is Logic X. I've got this um, 200% so you can definitely see what we're looking at. So this is the ESX24, the sample player in Logic X. And um, when you go into it, everything looks great and wonderful. This is a default install. So this is how installs would work. The only change I've made is changing the viewing size to 200% so you can definitely see what we're looking at. Now, <coughs> I was on YouTube, uh, I was looking on, searching on YouTube yesterday how to make your own um, sample sets. So I was going to put a drum machine together and the following steps. And the first step was hit the edit button, which is just here. Actually, there's nothing there. So, oh, problem. Can't edit. Uh, that's weird because if I hop over to Logic Pro 9, we can see in Logic Pro 9 it looks sort of like oldie worldy Graysville, but we have an edit button. So on the default install of Logic X, you can't, it's got all the other buttons here, every other single button is all here, so you can mess it up completely, but you can't hit edit. How crazy is that? So, how do we fix that? Well, a quick search on the interweb went to here. So we go here, we go preferences, we go advanced tools, but apparently this is an advanced tool. We go advanced tools and we go advanced editing. It's not advanced editing, it's just editing. Can I swear wordly edit something? So if we take that on, we now get in Logic Pro a edit button, which means we can open up the edit thing and set up our things. It's just, what? Why? <laughs> Why does it do that? It's a one odd choice. I mean, I can see where they're going with this. They don't want to hurt people. They want to keep it in La La Land and Phoebe Doo Land for children, i.e. Garage Band. But seriously, you kept all the other buttons but you got rid of the edit button. You, that's an advanced feature. infuriating yesterday. It took me like 15 minutes searching the internet to find out how to turn the edit button back on. I was just going, I'll just, I'll just fire a Logic 9 then, because that's obviously going to work. That's the end of my little rant for today. There are other things that are annoying, but that one's fixed. It's just, what an odd way for a default install to work. You know, it should... The ideal thing would be, um, are you a Logic 9 user when installing this... Um, software you know have you come from a previous version of logic yes would you like all the things that logic usually has when you open it up yes please i would in which case edit should be switched on you know if it, if it, sh it then should say are you coming from garage band would you like it to look simple and stupid yes please in which case you would get rid of the edit button maybe i don't see why i don't get it don't understand their thinking on that at all because you've got all the other buttons that can infinitely mess up any sound or anything, no problem. I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, that, I think, will do that.